Well, everybody, I thought I would uh, revisit this instrument here. This is the HP 59401A bus system analyzer. This is used to capture and uh, analyze HPIB bus traces. Now, programming this instrument is kind of on the fun side because you program in all of your commands through these toggles here at the bottom. You've got uh, data I.O. lines 1 through 8, and you've got three sets of commands. Uh, you have a, a service request, end of input, and the attention command. Up on the top here, we have another set of uh, switches. This one here allows you to forcefully inject an interface clear function or a service request. This one here enables the remote enable, which allows this instrument to send commands to the instrument that you may be testing. You have uh, memory register buttons here. Uh, we have a, a switch here that we can turn the memory registers on and off and clear them up here. And then we have a forward reverse switch where we can toggle through the 32 total memory registers where all the commands are stored and captured. We have a compare function here where you can set these, uh, these uh, uh, switches down here to detect a condition that you want to stop. So if you want these two lines high, you can turn that compare function on and during the receive or during while the bus monitoring activity it will halt if this bus condition appears and allows you to alter it or continue on. The switch here allows you allows to turn this instrument into a talker or a listener and this switch here sets the speed. You can either halt and execute commands one at a time or put it on slow and it'll execute two commands per second or fast and it'll execute at full bus speed. So anyway, today I'm going to go through how to set this instrument up and program this in. This is a, uh, a bus capture that I did and using this instrument. This is uh, commands that were sent using uh, HT Basic. And what this is doing is that it's uh, setting the the HP uh, 3325A to an amplitude of uh, minus 10 dB and a frequency of 1 megahertz. So I'm going to go through the steps of toggling all this in and sending it out on the bus and uh, showing the results. So before we get going here, toggling in all that, I thought I would demonstrate how to use this instrument to send a single, a couple of single commands. And we're gonna do, send some commands to the uh, HP 3325A here. And what we're gonna do is I'll just send a uh, remote, or what we'll do is we'll set the uh, instrument into listen and unlisten mode. So, uh, with this instrument here, it is on HPIB address 17. And depending on what address your instrument is set for, there are two ASCII characters that are used to tell the instrument to listen or to talk. And since mine is at address 17, the character that it needs to hear on the bus to go into listen mode is the character 1. So we're going to toggle that in uh, using this chart here that I made. So we're going to toggle in... Uh, one zero 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 one one using these paddles on the front here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put the the instrument in talk. We leave this on halt. We enable or uh, turn on the remote enable. We turn on the attention command. And now we can toggle in the listen command for the instrument at HPIB address 17, which is going to be 100011. Should be uh, 61 in octal. There's the alphanumeric character. And now, if I press the execute button, voila, the instrument is now in remote and it is listening. So now, what I can do is that I can. Uh, Tell the instrument to go to local, which will take it 
out of remote, which is going to be one zero 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 all zeros. We leave the attention on and the remote enable is of course has got to be left on and now when we press the execute button remote light is now out and so now we can tell the instrument to unlisten which is going to be a one 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 which is the question mark and an octal of 77 and if I press that button again BAM! It unlistens. So that is basically how you would send the commands individually if you had a simple instrument where you wanted to just test one command without programming it into the memories and then running it. That's how that is done. So with that, let's uh, get the camera set up here and we will toggle in this program here using the paddles on the front. All right, now we've come to the point where we're going to program the instrument. And we're going to program this little program in using the, uh, the paddles on the front. Okay, so first thing we want to do is, uh, first of all, let's take out remote enable. Uh, let's leave that off. Let's turn all these down to zeros. Let's uh, now turn this to... No, that has to stay in talk. We keep it in halt. Turn the memories on, and we clear them. And uh, we'll just move up to memory register zero, and we'll start toggling in. So the first line of this program is going to set establish this instrument as the talker. And uh, we're going to use uh, HPIB, HPIB address 0. And the talk character that's going to be sent is the ampersand. So, toggle in uh, 000, 000, 0001. And then we press the execute button. And that's stored in the memory. You go to the next one. The next uh, command is that we're going to... Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Correction here. Let's uh, fix this. We got to go back down here, and we have to turn the attention command on. We leave these set where they're at, and now we redo that command. So now that's stored. Next command. We leave the attention command on, and uh, we're going to instruct every instrument on the chain to unlisten, which is one 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 zero zero store that one. Next, we're going to tell the uh, the instrument of choice to listen, which is going to be the HP 3325A on address 17. It's going to be a 1001100. And now that one is set. Now we take it out of the attention command because everything else now is just data input to the, uh, the instrument that is now set to listen. So we are going to set <clears throat> the amplitude. We're going to have to send the A first of the AM uh, command. So it's one zero 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 one. Enter. There's the A. Next is the M character, which is going to be one zero one one zero zero one. Next is the minus character, which is going to be one zero one one zero one zero zero. Next is the number one, which is going to be one zero 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 one one zero zero. Next we'll toggle in the zero, which is zero 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 one one. Next, we'll toggle in the DB statement. So we'll start with the D, letter D, which is 001, 0001. Next is the B, which is uh, 010, 0001, 0. 
Next, <clears throat> we're going to enter the frequency. Uh, so we start with the F character, which is uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Next is the R, which is going to be 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Next, we're going to enter the numeral 1 again. So it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Next is going to be the letter M for megahertz. We have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Next is H for hertz. So we got uh, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 1. And then, of course, at the end, now we have to enter a carriage return and a line feed. These aren't absolutely necessary, but just for the sake of completion and, uh, and all that jazz, we're going to enter those anyway. So we got 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Enter that, which is a Octal of 15. And then, of course, our final, the line feed, which is a 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, then that's it. So now, what we need to do is uh, go into Remote Enable. And we should be able oh what we also need to do here also is to tell the instrument to stop at the last command which is the line feed so what we're going to do is we leave these toggles set here we're going to put all these in the center and we're going to turn the comparator on so now when it gets to this state it stops and doesn't uh, send miscellaneous information to the instrument causing errors. So now we will let's actually let's, uh, review here. So we can go down here and toggle all the way down to the start. So we should have octal uh, 100 which we have. Oops. Oh man. Terrible. I got to start over again man. I hate this. <laughs> okay, toggle it all back in again. I uh, inadvertently cleared the memory. So we can go through our, our list here of commands and review them. Make sure that uh, there's no screw-ups. Sure I didn't mess things up like accidentally clearing everything. So we can go through and uh, review our work here. So the first one should be Octal 100 with the attention indicator on. The same thing here. 61, 101, okay, so we're looking really good. dB frequency of 1 megahertz, and a uh, carriage return and a line feed. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the comparator turned on. We're going to leave these switches paddled in this, this formation here, except we're going to set all these to the center position. And leave the comparator turned on. So what that will happen, what that will do is when I run the program, and we can run it right now, It'll go through its steps, and it will stop at the last command. So now, what we can do is that we can actually uh, enable the remote and program the instrument. All right, now we're ready to go. So I put the uh, the system back into halt. I've enabled the remote remote enable, and so now. I will uh, put that up to slow, and you can watch the instrument get programmed. So, uh, let's see here. So, here we go. And voila, there it is. 1 megahertz minus 10 dB. So this is how you use one of these to diagnose program if you want to. But uh, yeah, it's uh, 
kind of an interesting instrument. It's got a little bit of a, a learning curve, but once you get it down and don't mess up like I did, like uh, toggled all that in and then cleared the interface or cleared the memories. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, I think that's about all I got for now. It uh, Oh, this instrument does also have a uh, uh, some connectors on the back that you can hook up a logic analyzer to and actually uh, view bus traces on the logic analyzer. Because the one thing this won't tell you is it won't tell you the condition of these uh, data I.O. lines, but you can use a logic probe or a logic analyzer on the back and it will give you the status of every indication of all the commands, all the, uh, the, uh, uh, the conditions on the bus. So it, uh, it's a pretty cool instrument. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go for now, and uh, we'll catch you manana.